Recently, I attached the Draghi Pro to my original DJI FPV drone. Draghi is designed for cars, so to use their in-app video overlay features, you need to be in Bluetooth range of the Draghi. However, the Draghi Pro now logs the data on board, removing the requirement for a Bluetooth connection. But the app is buggy at best or slightly broken when comparing to how it's meant to work. So I asked Jack from D3VL, who kindly looked into it and patched the issue for me. You have to connect to its Bluetooth to start the initial onboard recording, but if you don't turn Bluetooth off and start your runs, when it loses the Bluetooth connection, it tags all onboard recorded runs as invalid, meaning that you can't post them to their online leaderboard, despite the data actually being valid. Rather than using Jack's patch, there is a workaround for this. In the Draggy app, start your onboard recording. This is only available with the Pro model. And then disable Bluetooth on your phone. Doing this will mean that your runs will show as valid when you come back and stop the recording and download everything to your phone, but you can't use any of the cool draggy video overlays. You can at least post your results to their leaderboard because everything will come back as valid. So how did I do my video overlay? Well, there's a hidden feature in the draggy app. Hold down the date over one of your runs, which will allow you to save or share the raw data as a JSON file. I shared this to myself on WhatsApp, but it is saved in the phone as well. The only problem is all of the data in the JSON file is encrypted and will look like garbage on a computer, rendering it useless. Jack from D3VL has created a decryption tool that will convert the JSON into a usable JSON and also convert it into a CSV file so it can be used for data analysis and custom overlays. Go to Jack's D3VL Draggy Decryptor website either on your phone or on a computer and then choose your encrypted JSON file. And if you don't want to listen to me anymore, there is a tab explaining the process. Under the settings, there is an option to reinterpolate missing data. This option exists due to the buggy way that the Draggy and the Draggy Pro works. It only saves the data at 10 Hz, despite the Pro saying that it logs up to 25 Hz. You can think of 10 Hz as 10 frames a second in video format. So if you start your run at 7 Hz of its cycle, when it gets to 10 Hz, it counts that as second number one in time, therefore missing lots of important data points for a really fast car or drone. When Draghi does this, it seems to do a calculation and spits out a guesstimate of the missing data and inserts its calculation into a single row, which would be great if Draghi gave us access to the data overlay logic, but they don't. Reinterpolate missing data adds a more accurate and a cleaner way to deal with this problem. So the 0.1 second 10 hertz option adds missing data for 10 hertz and deletes the guesstimate calculation that Draghi spits out. 0.04 seconds is equivalent to 25 hertz. Jack has added a bunch of others, however, with 10 hertz and 25 hertz being the GPS standard, I would just stick to these. I would not use the 0.5 second and 1 second option as this equates to 2 hertz and 1 hertz, and that's removing data. Personally, I stick to 10 hertz because this is what Draggy outputs anyways, but the other options are there for even more accurate readings that can guess better than Draghi's own guesstimate. The other option, which I would also recommend using, sets the first zero mile per hour reading as zero mile per hour. Draghi's first reading is sometimes minus 0.1 or minus zero, leaving zero seconds with a mile per hour reading greater than zero. 
So if this is not checked and you try to use the data with video overlay software, then what should be zero mile per hour until your vehicle starts moving would actually remain static in this case at five mile per hour on the gauge until the vehicle started moving. So what can you do with all of this data? Well, I know spreadsheets are really fun to look at and I've mentioned video overlays. You can import JSON or CSV files to custom video overlay software such as telemetry overlay, race render, or in my example, I completely recreated Draghi's overlay in After Effects with the JSON file. If you want all of the data, which is more specific for drones, I've found that saving the half mile JSON combined with the 60 to zero data is the best way to capture everything. You have to muck about finding where the half mile and 60 to zero data overlap and splice them together. I used Excel in this case and then modify the time so that it follows on from the half mile. But that's how I did it. To be honest, these are all features that Draghi should be adding themselves. They are missing a few million customers in other markets by not doing so. And their online leaderboard can't be manipulated. That data is rooted into the phone itself. They even list CSV not supported on their site and it took Jack 20 minutes to support it. So I'll put a link to Jack's JSON decryption tool in the comments. And if you use it, really consider buying him a coffee because no one else can do this stuff. At this point, you're probably thinking Draggy is less than ideal for drone use, at least when it comes to the video overlay. But you can at least post times to their leaderboard and absolutely destroy my times and the times of cars for the moment. Luckily, there is another option for RC models. The Racebox Micro is a lot cheaper, smaller, provides documentation by request for third-party integration, so people can make their own apps for it. It uses a JST connector supporting up to 16 volts. You can sync your FPV video directly to the data that it's recorded in an app. It records at a selectable 10 hertz and 25 hertz, which is needed to collect data points at really quick accelerating speeds. It's just that 25 hertz records more data and takes up more space on the onboard storage, so that's why it's selectable. The only downside is that there is currently no leaderboard with the Racebox Micro, but there is nothing stopping any of us making one. I'll do another video for the Racebox Micro, but there is a 15% discount code in the video description if you want to try it out before my video comes out. And you might be thinking, Andy, why bother with any of this? Why not just take the data from Betaflight with a drone and do it that way? And to that, I say, sure, someone figure it out. But for the moment, this is what we have. Thanks for watching. Cheers.